Hello and welcome back everyone to this live demo session on SAP UI5 and Fiori training on SAP Business Application Studio and VS Code. I will be your trainer for the SAP UI5 and Fiori training. In the next 40 hours, we are going to learn the core concepts of developing SAP UI5 and Fiori applications using latest tools available in the market. So let's get started this live demo session. So first, we need to understand what is the agenda for this demo. In today's demo session, we are going to start with introduction of who is this training for. You will understand different de developer personas about who can attend this training and how it's going to help you in your career. Then we will talk about the overview of this training. What are all the different phases this training is structured? And then we will take a simple use case for a demo scenario and we will do it in the live system. You will learn about the development tool throughout this journey, which we will be using. And also some of the important things which you should keep in mind while developing UI5 applications. Finally, towards the end of the demo, we will have some of the frequently asked questions followed by live question answers in this demo. So let's understand who is this training for? So if you are Daniel Jack, who's a UX designer, currently working on building prototypes and UX designs for the companies and would willing to venture into the full-fledged development of applications, this training is going to help you like Daniel. If you are Shania, who's a technical SAP advocate, working on SAP technologies, UI technologies especially like Webdyne Pro, BSP, SAP Portal, this training is also going to help Shania to become a UI5 developer to build amazing Fury applications. If you are Arman, who's a fresher just out of college, have zero experience in development and willing to venture into the world of SAP, this training is also going to help Arman. Eventually, this is the first step to become a full stack SAP developer. So if you're confused about which courses to start with in this latest world of SAP, you should close your eyes and start with SAP UI5 and Fury development training. Finally, if you are Millie, who's an application developer already working in, in ABAP, she's an ABAP consultant, and she would now want to learn the latest and greatest technologies to build S4 HANA applications in her company, then this training is also going to help you. So this training is also specially designed for ABAP developers who have zero experience on JavaScript, zero experience on HTML, we will make you a hero or heroine into the SAP world. SAP UI5 and Fury will be an easy task for you to take up in your company. Because nowadays, most of the applications in the ERP S4 HANA are being built, developed using SAP Fury technology. Having said that, Let's understand what is that you're going to expect in the next 40 hour in this training. So in the first phase of this training, we will start with fundamentals of UI5, which includes HTML5, CSS, JavaScript, and jQuery, including setting up of our development tool, so-called VS Code and Business Application Studio. Some of you might be wondering that in your company is still using Web IDE. Let me tell you the Web IDE is a old tool and it's been deprecated and there are no new developments happening into that tool space. The latest tool in the market which we have now is VS Code for local development environment and the best tool for the developing applications on the BTP. We will be covering both of these tools in our training. In the phase number two, we will learn about core concepts of SAP UI5, understand the architecture, understand the software development kit, understand the framework intricacies, how it's being designed, how can you use the control libraries to build entire end-to-end -end user interfaces and user experiences using SAP UI5. In the phase three, we'll start with Fury user experience. We'll understand why Fury, motivation for Fury, and how can you use SAP mobile library to develop Fury applications with and without templates like Worklist, Master Detail, and Fury Elements. In the last phase, we will talk about the O data development in SAP NetWeaver Gateway. We will take a real system 
and expose the real ERP data out of the system using O data services. You will learn how to develop amazing O data services to perform all the create, read, update, delete operations via this channel to SAP system and integrate this O data service with our real time Fury application. This is a real time training. You will learn real time scenarios and you'll be able to develop applications the way you like, the way you want. We will learn different different controls, data binding concepts to consume our real data from SAP system and also post the data back to SAP system. Followed by that, we have some additional bonus topics for you like GitHub integration, complete life cycle of a Fury application is starting from design to prototype to development to testing and finally deploying the applications and transporting this to the quality in production system. We will also talk about integrating our Fury application with SAP Fury Launchpad. So that's a brief overview of this training. Now in this 40 hour training, it's specially designed for absolute beginner who's a college fresher or any app developer who have never worked on UI5 in the past, just heard about it or even not heard about it. Yes, it's absolutely, uh, absolutely for the beginners, anyone who willing to learn Fury and UI5. It will aspire to transform your knowledge of current WebDIN Pro or Dialog programs. How can you do that to your Fury applications? How can you develop Fury applications in your company? So what do we see today? In today's demonstration, I will take you through first our development tool, so-called SAP Business Application Studio in BTP. We will create a very simple UI5 project using MVC architecture, so-called model view controller. And then we will test our application and finally run our application into the browser. So this is all what we can expect and see today into the demo live in the system. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. The very first thing I would like to introduce you is the basics of what is UI5. So let's talk about quickly what is SAP UI5 and then we will discuss more in detail about how can we develop our first UI5 application. So when it comes to what is UI5, the most important thing we need to understand that SAP UI5 is a framework to develop responsive web applications. What is a framework? A framework is nothing but it's a collection of libraries. What is a library? Library is nothing but a collection of classes. What is a class? Class is nothing but a collection of attributes, functions, aggregations, and events, right? So this is why you can eventually see that UI5 consists of so many classes which we use to build user interfaces. The second word which comes very important here is called responsive. What is responsive? So responsive is nothing but a web application which is used to work in all the devices with same code. So you don't have to write code for different devices. An application which will work for all the devices with same code, it has ability to adapt itself according to the device. Yes, according to the device. This is what called responsive web application. Yes, responsive web application. So in order to develop any software, any application, you first need to know the development tool. So the development tool which we use to develop UI5 application is the Business Application Studio. So first we talk about development tool. And this development tool is also available in the trial mode. So anyone who is a beginner and willing to start learning UI5, yes, the tool which you can use is Bash tool and it's available free for trial mode. And where it is available, it's available in something called SAP BTP. So SAP BTP is nothing but SAP Business Technology Platform. 
which is a platform as a service provided by SAP to design, develop, and deploy applications into the cloud. So the very first thing we need is to go and subscribe to SAP BTP. I'm going to talk about setting up the development tools and prerequisites in my next episode, including the comparison of different development tools. But for today's demo session, as a convenience, I have not uh, included this in the demo today, how to set up a BTP account. We're going to do that tomorrow. But I already have set up the BAS. So I will first show you how to create your uh, create your first BAS. So what you can do is you can go to SAP BTP. The URL is account.hana.ondemand.com slash trial. This is where you can set up your free BTP account. And the next step you can do is just click on this option called SAP Business Application Studio. And that's all. It will launch SAP Business Application Studio, something like this. Yes, which is a development tool as a service available on the internet directly by SAP. And this is what I'm using as a trial mode. Now, once you start the best tool, the very first thing you need to do is create a dev space. What's a dev space? So in the best tool, we have a dev space, which is a virtual machine running on internet. Yes, so there is basically a computer running somewhere on internet in which it is going to store all the project files. The virtual machine includes required tooling support for developing multi cloud applications. So there are variety of applications we can develop like HANA applications, UI5 Fury applications, mobile development kit applications. But since our goal is to build Fury application, we will create a dev space for Fury. So let me just go back and create a dev space. And let's call it as Fury. And I'm just going to choose SAP Fury. You see, it's a multi cloud development tool where you see different types of development it supports. But since our requirement is to do Fury, we choose Fury and create a new dev space. Now, in the trial account, you can create maximum two dev space at a time. Only one dev space will be running. And to each dev space have uh, up to four gigabytes of memory store which they allow and if you do not run it for a long time then the system will automatically stop this virtual machine so you can see it's creating now a virtual machine somewhere on the internet and there is no installation required in your local computer to use this tool so in few moments you will see this the virtual machine will start and i can go inside to access my my tool yes the third thing which comes into the mind so once you have a development tool ready the next thing which comes is which architecture to follow to develop applications so we are not developing college project we are here to develop productive applications for enterprise and when you do that you need to really take care of architecture so in order to develop ui5 application we use mvc architecture which means model view and controller Now, the simplest way to understand MVC is to understand functioning of a computer. So in a computer, we have input output, processing and data. Similarly, we see here we have a model, which is your data, your view, which is your input output, the screens and the controller where you write your application logic. So this is what a MVC architecture is all about. It's a common principle to develop applications which has some user interfaces. We are going to talk about MVC in detail in unit number three in our training. So you will get very comfortable with MVC. It since it's a demo session today, I'm just not going to go deep inside MVC, but we will be doing it later in unit number three. For today, you just understand that we will be developing a view and controller for simplicity where a view contains the ui elements which we need to display to the user like buttons and controller will contain 
the logic of when of what happens when button is pressed yes the views are coded in xml format now what is xml some of you are absolutely new to xml we will talk about this topic in unit number five more in detail what is xml why do we need and what's the format and then we will have controller is coded in javascript language so we will talk about this as well the basics of javascript and also controller but for today's demo i will just use a basic skeleton yes to develop these two things for you i'm just going to go back now and you can see our dev uh, our dev space is still starting so now what I will do is I will just show you the UI mockup. So we will have a uh, button. We will have a view. And inside this view, I'll just create a button. And when this button is clicked, I will have the business logic. When this button is clicked, I will have the business logic will be written in the controller. Yes. So all the business logic will be written inside the controller. That's what we'll, we will do. So let us go ahead and see this in action. So now you can see our dev space has been started. I can switch over to our dev space. And this is what starts the development space where we can add and write our business logic. Perfect. So now what we have here is we have our dev space and we can just go ahead and create an application. So a application or a project is nothing but a folder. So I'm just going to create a new folder here. But before that, I'm just going to click on open folder and I'll go to a folder called projects folder in which we will add new folders. So that's what a project essentially is for a computer. It's just a folder where you group all your project files. So the very first thing it does is it starts a uh, it starts a page and now you can see I have the projects directory and in this projects directory I can start adding my content. Yes, so we can just go ahead and add my content inside this projects directory. So let's cre create a new folder inside this projects directory so I can uh, just go ahead and add new folder so that I can add my files inside that project. So to do that, we go to terminal and open terminal. And in this terminal, we can say mkdir command make directory. And I can say UI5 demo. And this creates now a folder in my computer. Very easy. And in this, I can now add files. So the starting file is uh, the file which is going to load this UI5 framework. And this file we usually create directly inside the project directory as a index.html file yeah. so this is my file yes you can see i just have a new file now called index.html say html file to start any web application any mobile application this is the starting point and in this we write a html document yes. and then we will just put a header so an html page consists of a header and a body just like humans we have a brain and we have the body body is what people see similarly what you put inside the body is what people will see and in the header we will put all the initialization code so that's a very basic concept of html if you uh, are new to the html don't worry we are going to cover the detailed about html in our unit number one more in detail in the next coming class i'm going to talk about html5 in details so now i will just go back and put a tag here very special tag called script tag in which we will put a source and here we are going to put the url of from where i'm going to load the ui5 framework as i told you that we will be using this framework which consists of libraries classes and attributes so there is a certain way we load this framework and this framework is already available on internet and we can load it for free in our uh, in our file so let's go ahead and do that i'm just going to write the url
Now you must be wondering where where did this URL come from and how do I know about it? Don't worry. I'm going to cover this in our next unit uh, where I will discuss about the basics of SAP UI5 framework. Yeah, so that's where I'm going to cover it. So if I just do a control click, you can see it is loading up here. Yeah, the framework is loading up. The next thing which we will do is we will also add here a an additional property called data SAP UI libs. As I told you that it consists of so many libraries. I don't want to load all libraries. So I just specify that the library which I want is SAP M. SAP M is a mobile library to build your application. The next thing we will say is data SAP UI theme. And I want to load SAP Fiori 3 dark theme. That is going to give me the experience of dark background. And in order to apply that experience on my entire page, I have to also specify classification called SAP UI body. Now, these things are absolutely new to many, many of you, and you might not digest this in the demo, but the idea of this training is to make you guys comfortable with all of these things. It's a demo session, so of course I cannot explain all 40 hours in just one hour, but idea is to eventually go back and learn each and every bit of it and every line of code you should be able to understand. As you can see, my strategy to teach is not a copy-paste strategy, the strategy here is to write every single line of code in front of you so you can digest and understand what is the meaning of every line and that's when it, the real power of the knowledge comes into picture so now we are good and these are the basic stuff which we need to get started and load the framework load the ui5 framework and let's go ahead and test our app we can say welcome to ui5 and i'm just going to right click and run open preview and we should now see a black color background screen that is what because of this theme which i just mentioned followed by that you can see here the welcome to ui5 so it's a very simple hello world like uh, ui page ui5 application page now we want we don't want hello world we want something else so what i mentioned is we want a view and a controller so let's create a view and a controller so what we're going to do is we will create now a view and I'm going to name it as main.view.xml. So just like any file uh, you have in your computer, it has an extension to detect the type of the file. Similarly, here you see the view.xml is an extension which tells the system, uh, which tells the, the UI5 framework that it's a view and the type of the view is XML. I'm going to say OK. And we are going to define a view. So view is also a class. So SAP UI5 framework, as I mentioned, consists of multiple classes. Yes. So view is also a class and these classes are part of libraries. So view is part of MVC library. So we have to define now a view by saying um, MVC view. And we need to mention now what is this MVC all about. So for that, I need to create a variable called XML namespace MVC. And I say SAP UI core MVC. This is the namespace. This is a variable I've created. You can just put here Anubhav and then you can also put Anubhav here. This is also fine. So we are mentioning that this view class belongs to this library. That is what this namespace is doing. At the same time, we will just say XML namespace SAP mobile library. So that's a default namespace what we have here, which indicates, uh, which indicates that we have a uh, default library SAP mobile. So if anything is not prefixed with the, with this variable name, by default should be looked into mobile library. Yes, by default be looked into mobile library. So now next thing which we will do here is to go and create now a button. So let's add a button with a text and I say click me. Yes, so this is a button class so by default this button class will be looked inside the the mobile library now you must be wondering anubhav how do we know that there's a text property for button class yeah so that's something i'm going to explain in unit number seven when we will talk about ui5 sdk you all will be able to find even complex controls and build them yourself so i will introduce you to the sdk and i will take you comfortable with sdk and and its concepts so there's a lot to learn in this training if you are a beginner, there is, of course, a lot to learn. This training is not just for beginners, even for people who are already working on UI5, but is still not very confident on the technology. So it's going to help them as well. 
for time being we are good and we have our our uh, our button so how does this view then come on the screen so if i run it of course it will not come on the screen if i just go ahead and test yes if i just go ahead and go ahead and test this view nothing is going to come on the screen still we'll see the old black screen but in order to display this view on the screen now we have to add the code to instantiate this view so let's create the object of the class so view is a class i'm going to create object of the view class new sap ui view and i'll say hey my view name is uh, uh, my view name is the main dot yeah that's my view name yes so this is my view name and my view type is xml this is my view type and once the view is ready please place this view into the into the body so you can see this is the body and in this body i'll just create a element called division tag and i say content give some id to this so i'm going to place now this view object inside the inside this content so take the content and place it here so basically as I mentioned, HTML it consists of header and body. So user can only see what you keep in the body. So we are sending our view which we created just now over here into the body of HTML. That's what we are ex actually doing. Now there is one more last thing which we need to do. The system will not be able to recognize that this main view which we have added here it's 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 is present where in our application folder so right now we just have one folder but going forward we'll have more folders more proper structure so system should know or the ui5 framework must know which folder does this view exist so in order to tell that we have to add another property here called data sap ui resource roots yes that we have to add and let me just add this property here and specify that my current working directory is named as let's say uh, ui5 demo so what i was saying to the system now here is that this folder name this is my namespace this is my folder name and this is basically my current working directory yeah it's my current working directory ui5 demo and i copy this and i add it also here so I say that this main view can be found in the UI5 demo directory. This is a very important property so that SAP UI5 framework can detect our, our view properly. Now I'm just going to right click and open. And it doesn't work, which means I've done a mistake. Actually, this should come first and dot slash should come later. Let's give it a try again. Just save. And yes there you go you can see now our button is coming basically the view is coming but now as a next step when i click nothing happens of course we have not written any business logic yes so business logic is written as i mentioned inside a controller so let's go ahead and create a controller file we name it as main only but extension will be dot controller dot gs this is the extension of a controller file I come inside now just like any class if you talk about let's say ABAP or C programming or Java programming you start a class you put class name yes definition right this is how you start a class controller is also a class it has to have some structure so SAP provide a skeleton to develop controller file and it's called SAP UI define yes so today I'm not going to explain this in detail but this is the skeleton of creating any any controller file now since it's a controller file it also needs to add a dependency on a sap standard class called sap ui core mvc controller and we need to just add that dependency here so it's a class which inherit from another sap standard class and that's what that's when it becomes a controller so if you are new to this don't worry we have one hour lecture only on these five lines yes the unit number nine where i will cover all these five lines in just one hour only one hour only these five lines will discuss but for today just take it as it is and i'm just going to say return and inheritance of this controller 
So this is the skeleton of our controller class. And now I will give the full address. It's again part of UI5 demo folder dot main. And then I will put here the logic. So when press me happens, I call a function and I just say alert. Alert is like a like a pop up. Just show a pop up to the user and I say welcome to Anubhav trainings. Yes. So this is how our controller can be built. We just have a function inside controller called press me. And this function I'm now, now going to call in my view. So I just go to the view and I say, when somebody press the button, please call uh, press me. Wow, that's amazing. So we're just calling the press me function whenever the button is pressed. But there's a catch. You, We have forgotten to specify who's the controller of the view. So we have to say controller name for this view is UI5 demo dot me this is the controller for my view so this is mandatory so to tell the system that who's the controller of this view so the system can automatically detect and find this press me function in in that controller itself yeah very simple so let's go ahead and now test once again our application so i'm just going to right click and test again and let's click and voila you can see Welcome to Anubhav Trainings. How simple was that? So this is how line by line, step by step, we develop source code in SAP UI5 with our development tool. This is just a demonstration of what you can expect in coming classes. Of course, we have a detailed explanation of each and every line planned for you in this training to make you a make you an expert on SAP UI5. So now moving on to some of the frequently asked questions. What will be the duration of this training and prerequisite? So guys, the duration of this course is 40 hours and there is no prerequisite except basic programming skills. You should have zeal and, and, and enthusiasm to learn programming and new skill. That's all you need. Don't need anything else. The timing does not suit me. So can I go with video mode? Yes, you can opt for video mode training for our most recent batch and you can ask questions over the email if the timing doesn't suit you you can go through the video recordings itself as a learning so does this option uh, this option also applies for those who want to fast track their learning they don't want to wait until the existing batch gets over over the course of next two months so you can fast track your learning completely through the video mode what tools do we need uh, to learn ui5 and where do we get them so we will need the BAS tool, as I showed you today, the Business Application Studio tool, and the VS Code tool. So both the tools I'm going to cover in my next episode in detail, one hour lecture. We will just talk about the tooling and setup and comparison of these tools. So that's what something we'll see in the next class. What about the server access for OData? So we do have server access. You don't need server access upfront for SAP. You just need these tools. And we would need it in session 29 onwards. And that time I will explain you what is needed to, to get the OData server access. So we have multiple options to choose from. I will guide you through. So don't worry. It's a, it's a real time training with real stuff. So you'll get very, very comfortable with the things without any problem. So we do have the infrastructure in place to, to make yourself comfortable with all the concepts. Then moving on. Uh, will you be covering real time scenario? Yes, we will be covering an end to end development process, including consumption of OData services, uh, deploying and delivering our application to production system. It's a real time training. I'm new to UI5. Can I learn? Yes, you can certainly learn. Any fresher can also learn UI5 with us because we plan to cover HTML, CSS, and JavaScript as part of this training as well, which majority of you are not comfortable. You would have learned them in, in school days, but that's okay. We will cover everything for you, whatever is needed to learn UI5 and become an expert. If I miss a class, how can I refer the training? So if you miss a class, you can refer the recording. We will record every class. And in case you miss or not miss the class, you can anyway watch the recording of our session. What's the process to enroll for this training? So guys, the process to enroll for this training is simple. Just have to go and email us on contact at anubotrainings.com. And that's all you can then uh, get to know the entire process or you can also reply back the invitation which you would have received from us and then we will get back to you with all the necessary details. The batch is starting today. Today was our demo session. 
Tomorrow is our first session and our topic for the session will be setting up your development tools and comparison and also setting up the VS Code development tool, which is also an ask by many, many of you and about will you cover VS Code in this training? Yes, we do cover VS Code and we do cover Bash tool in this training in detail. And that is going to be our next episode. Having said that, thank you so much for joining this demo session today with me. I would appreciate you your time today. And the most beautiful thing about the learning is nobody can take it away from you. So make a plan, make a make a detailed plan for your training. I'm there. I'm your training partner. I will help you to make sure that you are successful and you meet your goal for this year with the help of this UI5 training. Once again, thank you so much for joining this demo session. See you soon. See you in the next episode. Have a nice day. Goodbye.